war is horrible as it is, often gives opportunities to certain groups. So African Americans, former slaves, are able to prove themselves as citizens. Jews did this an enormous number in World War II. Henry Kissinger, who I wrote about before, he really only gets recognized as an American. He's a German Jewish immigrant. He's seen as an American because of his service in World War II. So the bright side of this is that often in the case of war, on your own side, you will let go of some of your prejudices. Ulysses Grant has a total transformation. He goes into the Civil War, an anti-Semite and a racist. He comes out with actually very enlightened views because he sees what Jewish soldiers and what African-American soldiers did. What's Ulysses S. Grant's story? What, uh, what do you learn from him? Was he a hero or a villain of this war? I think he's a hero, uh, though he's a flawed hero, as, as all heroes are. Um, he's a, a man from uh, Ohio and Illinois who uh, was a, really a failed businessman time <laughs> and again, um, and uh, had an ability to command people in war. Uh, where did this come from? He was a clear communicator and an empathetic figure. He tended to drink too much, but he was the kind of person people wanted to follow. They trusted him. And so in battle, that became very important. And the second thing is he did his homework. And he had a sense of the terrain. He had a sense of the environment he was operating in. And he was ruthless in pursuing what he had studied. So he turns out at battles as like Vicksburg and elsewhere to actually undertake some pretty revolutionary maneuvers. Uh, and then he figures out that the advantage now is on his side in numbers and he just pounds Lee, pounds him to death. Similar to what the United States does at the end of World War II with Germany and Japan. He comes out of the war, Grant does. He's a believer in union. He wants to protect um, former slaves and other groups, and he tries to use the military for that purpose, he's limited. And then as president, he tries to do that as well. Uh, right now, uh, we still use many of the laws that were passed during Grant's presidency to prosecute insurrectionists. So the 900 or so people who have been prosecuted for breaking into the Capitol and attacking police on January 6th, those insurrectionists, they've been prosecuted under the 1871 anti-Ku Klux Klan law. So that's a big accomplishment by Grant, and we still benefit from it. The problem is Grant was not a great politician. Unlike Lincoln, he didn't give good speeches. He wasn't a persuasive figure in a political space. And so he had trouble building support for what he was doing, uh, even though he was trying to do what in the end, I think, were the right things.